All right. Okay. I am nervous to make this freaking video. Um, I have been avoiding this. The the camera seems so freaking close, dude, uh, to my face. Uh, but I guess that's probably how it always is. I do have a Topo Chico, so all is well for me. Okay. Yeah, I haven't wanted to make this video. Uh, what, I haven't made a video in maybe four or five months or, or, or so. I, I don't even know. Four months, doesn't matter. Uh, I didn't want to make a video at all for so many freaking reasons. Um, I have been feeling, now there's hope, okay, just keep, I don't want this to sound like a downer video, because, because it's not, actually, it's really not, actually, this is a very hopeful video, I think, um, I have been struggling more than I've ever struggled in my whole life, uh, with depression, uh, spiritual battles, uh, beyond what I've ever gone through in my life. Uh, you know, yeah, I don't know how much I want to get into right now, but, uh, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll keep going. We'll see how this goes. Um, I, you know, one of the last videos I think I made before I stopped making videos, you know, one of the, one of the few was about an anhedonia after, uh, stopping quitting drugs, which anhedonia is just you know, no pleasure from anything. It's just, you just, you can't it's like you, you try but you just you just can't um and it's it's horrible uh it's horrible when it goes on and on and on and on you know uh it just uh and the depersonalization you know coming off the benzo yeah i'm over a year off the benzo almost 13 months in just a couple days um it uh it it if and sucks dude i i don't know how to i'm not going to really elaborate anymore it's terrible it's horrible the depersonalization the anhedonia it's horrible I mean, I was almost feeling like I was like losing tr touch with reality. Seriously, I was like, I, I seriously would wake up and be like, you know, go throughout my day. I felt like I felt like I was felt like crap, horrible every day, all day, every second. I mean, that's how I was feeling. It's because I wasn't making the right decisions, though, too. Uh, I, I was doing stupid stuff. I've put myself through so much crap my whole life, uh, and I resorted back to some of that, uh, and it made things worse. I was spiraling in a terrible, dark, uh, apathetic, terrible depression. Didn't want to get out of, wouldn't, wouldn't want to get out of bed. Did not want to do anything. So what did I start doing? Well, I started, uh, I was like, oh, I can, I'll use some pot. I'll use some pot. And then that turns in every day, every night, every night with me after the girls go to bed every night, I just started doing that. Ate, started eating just terrible. Okay. All the weight I lost getting off Suboxone, I've gained back, uh, eating crap smoking pot, you know, uh, you guys know I blew up gabapentin. Well, guess what? You know, cause my wife's, uh, was, is prescribed gabapentin. She doesn't ever take it, but I freaking got her to, to go get her, to go get her script, uh, to call it in and get it. Had it for two days and, uh, flushed it cause of the guilt. And, uh, you know, so that, I'm just giving you, I'm just telling you like that, that, that's just the idiot crap, uh, that I've done. Um, just, Dude, completely avoiding God, like, you know, in a lot of ways, I, I, I should say, because this is the truth too, so many days, I'm sure so many of us can relate to this, so many days I wake up in the morning, I'd wake up in the morning and I would say, okay, today's the day, today's the day that I'm... I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to live for God and I'm going to not smoke pot tonight and I'm going to eat better and I'm going to start doing, you know, whatever, you know, blah, 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 the good intentions in the morning, you know, and then as the day goes on, see how long they last before I start to get, oh yeah, porn, porn, effing porn, beyond porn. <laughs> uh, it, it, porn got more out of control recently than it ever has in my whole life. <laughs> I'm not, it's, it's, I'm so ashamed. I mean, it's just, it's just the truth. Uh, I didn't want to make a video. I didn't want to make a video feeling the way I felt and and then start doing the things I, I was doing. It, it all felt hopeless, dude. I was so hopeless. I, I was feeling like, and I'm sorry, I'm just going and this is going to be all over the place. It's probably not very good. I know I always say that, but I don't know. Uh, I felt more hopeless. I, I felt more hopeless than I ever have in my whole life. And if you've watched some of my other videos... 
some of my other stories, you know that I've been in some pretty crappy, terrible situations that I got myself into just like this. And uh, this was worse. This was worse, dude. I was questioning everything. I was questioning who I was. I was questioning my relationship with God. I was I was questioning, I was questioning if I could ever love someone. If I would could even care about anyone but myself. I was so depressed, so selfish, so self-centered, could not feel feel stuff. And I and I'm and I'm you know, it's it's a struggle, dude. It, there, there's stuff that is a struggle. Uh still big time, you know. I'm not saying like, oh, I'm just great right now. Um but uh I uh I just was avoiding God, dude. Uh you know, I'd even like read my Bible some. I, I that's the thing is I'd try, man. I'd I maybe go two days or something or a day. I mean, it was no more than like two days. I I guys, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't eat right for more than two days or something. I mean it which is, which believe it or not, as an addict, like when I, when I would try to really put my mind to something and change paths, I, I could always do it my whole life. I, I, I could at least for a while, at least six months or a year, maybe, or something like that. You know what I mean? Uh, consistency has always been a, always been a problem of mine, I, I will say, but, but I could always turn it around for at least a good while or, or, you know what I mean? Like some sub, sub, substantial amount of time, not that, not this time, not even close. God dang it. Dude, I'm going to run out of time. This is going to suck. I, I don't know if I can finish this. I just, I, 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 uh, I, I would, I was just feeling so helpless and, and I began to second, I began to second guess myself on everything. Just like I said, who I was, um, uh, as a, as a person, as a dad, as a, you know, husband, everything. And just, I, I thought I was the scum of the earth and really, dude, I, I, I really was, I really freaking was, dude. I'm not going to get into everything. I'm not going to tell you all the thoughts I had and everything. I can tell you man, do I know the evil, man, I thought I knew the evil of, of a man's heart already because of myself. Uh, and, and, uh, this has humbled me more. I don't want to get emotional. This is great. Actually. The fact that I, that I could get emotional here. Um, what am I saying here? Um, I've learned a lot. God is, is, is teaching me a lot, uh, in my, I don't even want to just say in my imperfections, no, in my blatant effing selfish evil bullcrap. <laughs> that's what it, that's, that's more like it. Um, but I looked at myself as worthless, which is a lie, which is a lie. Even though you, you are doing all the wrong things and you know it, you, you know what, yeah, you know the right thing to do. Um, and you're not doing it. And you, and really I turned my back on God. I really, really did. There was things in my heart that I, I turned my back on God. I, I, it wasn't going the way Gabe wanted it to go the way Gabe thought it was going to go. And, uh, and yeah. And, uh, what was I going to say though? Dang it. Um, oh yeah, it's a lie, uh, about telling yourself that you're worthless and that it's hopeless. That is a lie. That's a lie from Satan. And, uh, and, and, but I was, I, I, I began to believe it. There was just a small freaking sliver of faith that God was going to pull me through this and not just God was going to do everything, but God was going to, I was going to somehow get my crap together and God was going to bless that or something. I mean, I, I don't even really know how to explain it. I just believed in my heart that like, this isn't my life. This is, I mean, I felt like I was just, I wanted to die, dude. I wanted to die. I didn't, I I have my kids though. And I, and, and yes, I knew that. And I didn't, I don't, I shouldn't say it because if I really wanted to die, I would have killed myself, but, uh, I suppose, but, um, it was just so bad. I don't, I, I don't know how to express how bad I was feeling. And maybe I should have made a video when I was feeling that bad to really get it across so I could go back and see it. I don't know. I th honestly though, the fact that I didn't make a video for like four months, I guess says it all right. Um, I need to cut into this real fast and get out of here. I have a lot more to say, but I will tell you right now, everything has changed. And the only, well, I say, okay, everything has changed, but the only thing that has changed is the fact that I have rededicated my life to Christ. That is, that is the only thing that has changed, but in that, everything has changed. 
yeah, I, I, I'm not feeling fantastic right now today. I actually felt terrible this morning, slept terrible last night, but there's a joy in my heart. There's a joy in my heart. Since I've turned it around and been reading my Bible and have been praying and have come to, this has humbled me so much. I used to think I was so intelligent and I knew everything there was to God because I've, and I, and I, and I have done a lot of research and I still feel very confident with that stuff. You can have all the intellectual stuff all you want. But I, I guess what I'm saying is I have realized so much that any, every good thing does come from God. As the Bible says, uh, it is so true. You know, um, I really learned that, that there's just nothing freaking good in me. I know this is very spiritual, uh, video, but that's what it is. That's what it's been for me. And that's what getting off this benzo has been for me. It is a spiritual effing torment hell. And I have more to say about that on another video. I really need to finish this up here. Um, guess what I'm saying is, and sorry, this video isn't very good. This is just a quick update, uh, is You want you real quick. You want proof of God? Go to God with an honest heart. Read your Bible. Pray. Seek Him. I told my wife the other day. I said, "What has happened in my heart recently? Is more proof of God's existence than any intellectual argument that I could ever come up with. More, more even than the fact that this is pretty big to me." is something out of nothing. The fact that we exist, you know, matter coming into existence by itself, it just, it just doesn't, it doesn't work for me. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense uh, at all in my opinion. But, but you know what? Even in that and even knowing that, I just turned back from God and I didn't feel God's present and I, and I sunk down in that depression and let it, and was letting it win. I'll tell you right now, what the living God has, has done and revitalized in my heart and my attitude toward my family. I don't get it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know why God decided to have mercy on me because I know the truth and I, and I went another path again. Okay. Very dangerous game. Anyway, I got to go. V for Vic, freaking victory! V for victory, baby. Don't lose hope. I will be back. God bless and salute.